Thanks to the Colorspec refinish paint system, competent DIYs can now achieve professional quality results at home. Here, we're going to show you what's involved in using Colorspec to color match a replacement panel. To get the best results and to make painting easy, just follow Colorspec's three-step system. Prepare, paint, finish. While Colorspec does offer the option of an aerosol can or touch-up bottle, which are great for small repairs, when it comes to painting a complete panel or whole vehicle, we recommend our base coat colour in bulk cans applied via air-operated spray equipment. Base coat colour is available in 250ml, 500ml, 1 litre and 2 litre sizes. This replacement guard was in good condition and didn't need any repairs, so we'll start with primer surfacer. If you're painting over a pet area, our primer filler is the better option. To get proper adhesion, you need to thoroughly scuff the existing paint with 320 grit sandpaper. Be thorough as you'll have poor adhesion on any areas that you haven't sanded. With sanding finish, clean the surface with wax and grease remover. Here you want to wipe it on with a clean cotton cloth before giving it a final wipe with a second dry cloth. You're now ready for primer surfacer. Using a graduated mixing cup or measuring stick, mix one part primer surfacer to 1.5 parts colour spec acrylic thinner. Stir thoroughly. To ensure there's no debris in your paint, use a filter when pouring the thin paint into your spray gun. While colour spec recommends using a gravity feed gun, a traditional suction feed gun will also do a great job. A pro tip here is to give the panel one last wipe with a tack cloth, as it picks up any dust and lint that you can't see. Test you have correct fan pattern. And set the spraying pressure to around 240 to 280 kPa or 35 to 40 psi in old speed. Spray with smooth, even, overlapping side to side passes, holding the gun approximately 20 to 25 centimetres from the surface. Don't attempt full coverage in one heavy coat, as this can not only affect adhesion, you also run the risk of creating runs and sags. Apply two to three light coats, with around five to 10 minutes drying time between each coat. Sometimes it may be necessary to apply additional coats to attain full coverage. To help with sanding the panel later on, give the panel a very light guide coat. Black aerosol works well, however, any dark colour will do the job. With priming completed, thoroughly clean your gun with thinners, otherwise it's likely to become clogged. Give the primer a minimum of 40 to 60 minutes drying time before sanding with 800 grit wet or 600 grit dry sandpaper, like we're doing here. After sanding, thoroughly clean the entire area again with wax and grease remover. Colorspec has precise mixing formulas for more than 100,000 automotive factory colours. Every car's original colour is identified by a unique alphanumeric paint code. It's typically found on the build plate affixed to the firewall or in the door jam. Take this code into any super cheap auto outlet and one of their paint technicians will mix your car's colour while you wait. Thinning ratio for colour spec base coat colour is two parts base coat to one part colour spec acrylic thinner. Mix thoroughly. Extra thinner may be required up to one to one when you're looking for better lay down or when blending colour in hot, humid conditions. For best results, Use a 1.2 to 1.4 millimetre tip. Test spray in an inconspicuous area or use the colour spec colour check card to ensure correct colour prior to application. Now we're ready for colour, give the panel one last wipe down with a tack rag. Test for correct fan pattern. When spraying base coat, slightly increase the pressure up to around 350 to 450 kPa or 50 to 65 psi. Use the same nice, smooth, parallel spray technique at around 20 to 25 centimetres from the surface. Your first coat should be very light, as you want to gradually layer up the base coat with a number of individual coats. With base coat, it's even more important to keep the gun 20 to 25 centimetres from the surface and at 90 degrees to the panel. And on each pass, begin moving the gun before pulling the trigger. Then continue sweeping the gun even after you've released the trigger and sweep with your whole arm. And don't flick your wrist at the end of each pass. Maintaining good technique, as well as giving each pass a 50% overlap, is key to eliminating streaking and mottling. 
Give the base coat five to 10 minutes to flash dry between coats. It typically requires at least two to three good coats to attain full coverage. Depending on film thickness, temperature and spray technique, additional coats may be required for full coverage. And while we're spraying in a dedicated booth, as it provides optimal conditions, colour spec can also be sprayed in a well ventilated area. If spraying outside, steer clear of windy or humid days and never when it's raining. Ideally, you want to be spraying in temperatures between 15 to 30 degrees Celsius, as painting in cold, damp or high humidity conditions may cause blooming, resulting in dulling of the finish. Always wear protective clothing, along with safety glasses, gloves and a respirator. With base coat complete, give your gun another clean. Being a proper automotive clear over base paint system, Colorspec base coat colour dries to a low sheen. To give a gloss, as well as a more accurate colour match, you need to apply Colorspec acrylic clear coat. Base coat is also porous, adding the clear seals it, while also providing durability and UV protection. Having let the base coat colour dry for 30 to 40 minutes, go straight to clear coating. Mix one part acrylic clear to 1.5 parts acrylic thinner. Spraying the clear coat is the same technique as priming and painting. Nice, smooth, even side to side passes, 50% overlap, gun at 90 degrees to the panel, 20 to 25 centimetres from the surface, 5 to 10 minutes drying time between coats. Full coverage typically requires 3 to 4 coats. As you can see, the finish is glossy straight off the gun. However, for the absolute best finish, allow the clear to dry for around 24 hours. Then wet sand with 1200 to 1500 before buffing with Meguiar's cutting compound. It's important to leave your fresh paint for 60 days before applying any wax or paint sealant. Once fully cured, your favourite Meguiar's wax or coating will give your fresh paint additional protection against the elements. How's that for a factory looking finish? Looks great, doesn't it? Before you leave the store, make sure you have everything you need to complete the job. Here's a handy shopping list, which you can also find in the back of the Colorspec brochure, available in store at Supercheap Order, as well as on the website. Don't rush, take your time, and carefully follow each of the cleaning, sanding, and painting steps. And there's no reason you can't achieve a full-on professional result. That's because Colorspec is a professional grade automotive refinish paint system, capable of delivering a factory-like finish that will maintain its good looks for years to come. Colorspec is available exclusively at Supercheap Auto. Also on the website is a host of other handy hints and tips along with loads of helpful how-to videos.